Our senior linebacker, Dax Holyfield, who was the first question? Hello. So we'll go to your right, third <laughs> row, right at the aisle. Justin Jones from CarolinaGridiron.com. Uh, covered you from years from Shelby High School, the Shelby pile when you take the field. How does, to go off of Inner Sandman, how does that compare to your old high school days of the energy with the old Shelby dog pile? Honestly, Shelby, North Carolina and Blackford, Virginia are very similar. They got passionate fan bases. They all love football. And uh, that's why I love Blacksburg so much. It really resonates at home uh, for me personally. And I love playing in front of, pa of passionate fans, passionate people. And it just makes the, the, whole, the whole thing that much more enjoyable. Stay there on your left, first row. Dan Tortora, Wake Up Call, DT.com. Dex, on your social media account, you have the last collegiate max of 380, and you have the video of that. Just speak on the weight room, achieving that, and, and just the energy that's there yeah. in the weight room at, for the Hokies. It's been great. Uh, the team, I love it. it I, honestly, my favorite part of football is I love, I love the weight room. It's just great. It's throwing up weights. Uh, he's getting, having these attainable goals each and every day. He's going out there and, and getting better. Uh, and I love the team being bought in into the weight room. If you, you, can, you can definitely tell uh, people getting things out of it, just people getting stronger, just looking more defined, just looking as more like football players each and every day. And it's just great to see those guys. But the funny thing about that is uh, it's 380, and then I got on Twitter, and there was a guy from NC State, like a freshman linebacker, who just pulled 405. That, that, that same morning, it was just like, man, he's got to show me up like that. It was crazy, so wasn't. It's pretty good. Left side, third row. Bob Holiday, WRL.com. Dax is the leader of this defense, which was one of the best defenses in the league last year. What was your reaction when you found out your new coach was going to be a defensive guy? And not just a defensive guy, but a guy who had helped Frank Beamer uh, you know, and, and 95, 96, Bud Foster, 95, 96, 97, you know, some of the greatest seasons in the history of Hokie football. It was, it was really exciting. Uh, Coach Pryor recruited me a little bit at Penn State, so I, I knew of him before. But it was exciting to get, like, a guy that knew the standard that was in Blacksburg back, you know. Like, he, he came from uh, Jiang for Bud Foster, so he knew what it took to be have success in Blacksburg and in Virginia Tech. So um, it was really exciting to get that back. And everything he's, he stands for throughout, what I've learned from him over the past seven, seven months is stands true to that. He's an excellent man. He treats people right. And it's going to be an exciting season with him. Dax, question from the podium here, not football related. You've got quite the skill in the kitchen. I try. What's your go-to dish? What do you like to make the most? I cook a mean chicken parm. I do that. What makes it so good? Uh, I told I told somebody this earlier. It's just honestly, it makes anything good is just add a bunch of butter. As a um, follow-up question, is it harder to bake a multi-layer cake or read a triple flex option? Repeat the the second one. Is it harder to make a multi multi-layer cake or read a triple option flex? Ooh, uh, definitely the cake. Honestly, uh, if you don't cook it long enough or it, it'll it won't be cooked through the middle, and then you just fall apart. It's definitely a triple option. It's just there's only so many things you can do. But when with, when it comes to a cake, there's so, there's a bunch of outcomes that can go wrong with it. So definitely, if you don't if you don't whip the batter enough, if you don't I don't know if the if the, if the oven ain't cooked at the right temperature, it, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Any non-related kitchen questions for Dax while we still have him for a few minutes? Seeing none, you use the term unfinished business in announcing your return. It's a phrase we see a whole bunch. What is unfinished to you in Blacksburg? I came here to win, and I feel like I haven't done that yet here. And I want to set this place, this new regime, this, this program in the right direction with my, last, with my last year and set my legacy off right. And I just I want to go out on a, on a good note and have a great season this year. Zach, thank you. Uh, we can switch it up with Caleb. Thank you.